Hello, guys, we're on Zoom. You need to stop talking, please. Hi, how are you? Do you guys have some plastic cups for the game? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Don't knock over my cup. Nah, oh, Rebecca. On the big screen, because I don't want to try on the big screen. Woo! How was your week, Gemma and Gentry? Good. Good. Do anything fun? Yeah. yeah. Last night we had a bonfire and and we stayed up really late last night. Oh. <laughs> they didn't really late. How's room? How late is really late? Mm, eight something. Oh, there's Bracken. Hi. There's the Buckmans and Kaylee. Oh, look. The Walters need to unmute themselves. Enable your audio. There's no more time. Miss Nikki, we have a puppy. Oh, look how cute it is. Is that a golden retriever? Uh, no. no, it's a labradoodle. Oh, labradoodles are so cute. Hi, Walters. Let's do it. Then you. You. Oh, look, Draken's got a ton of cups. You guys have some cups to play with today? Uh, yeah. yeah, Carly does. Ooh, the Walters do. Yep, the Tylers do. Yeah. Hey, is your dad going to play against you? He's going to have to. Somebody's going to have to play against you. It's really easy. Oh, oh I'm going to yeah. Hi, Lee. Here I'll go. There she is. <laughs> I want you to be in this. Lee, do your kids have cups? Oh, she's connected to audio. Amount of cup? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I do. Yeah. I just All right. You do this. All right. Yeah. You guys know that you can't leave. No, we don't need two more. Even if two more plus that is still an even amount, Rebecca. All right, everybody ready to start? I don't see anybody else trying to get in. What are we so. doing? Well, we're getting ready to play the game. So hold on, I'm gonna explain it. All right, I need my kids to stop talking. 
All right, I'm gonna mute everybody for a second. Just. All right. I need you to stop talking, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is Nikki. I'm right here with the yellow box around my screen. Ruben, you're supposed to be over here. You stop. Man, we're a hot mess this morning. All right, so I'm Nikki, and I'm glad that you guys were able to make it to our virtual jump. So all month long, we're learning about humility. Hold on, we're going to show you the screen. I forgot to pull this up. Rob, can you please manage our children? <laughs> Hold on, I forgot to put this up, so. Hold on, guys. Thanks for being patient. Share screen. Here we go. <laughs> All right present. All right. So all month long, we're learning about humility. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. And that's really hard sometimes. So um, that might seem a little upside down from the way things normally go. Normally, we want to get the best things for ourselves, and normally we want to put ourselves first, but Jesus shows us a better way. So he showed us what real humility looks like. When we remember how Jesus treated people, we can follow his lead. So we can turn things upside down by treating others the way we want to be treated. So I thought we were going to start the morning off with another fun upside down game, one that we all get to play. It's called cup side down. All right. So in just a minute, we'll see a bunch of cups. You're going to have them in your room and we'll be facing some up and facing some upside down. So when I say go, all the girls in the room will try to set all the cups right side up. All right. So they're going to try to put them right side up. Well, all the boys are going to put them upside down like this. So when the time is up, we'll count up how many cups are facing up and how many cups are facing down. So first, what I'm going to need for you to do is stop sharing. I'm going to need for you to put your cups Half of your cups need to be spread around your room, right side up, and half the cups need to be spread around your room, upside down, all right? So I'm gonna give you that time to do it now. Go, guys. All right. See how we have ours? We have half of them upside down and half of them right side up. Give me a thumbs up if you've got that happening in your house. Hey, Buckman, you're going to need to spread them around. Got the Walters, Carly's good. Tyler's, are you good? It's going to be a game to see who can, who can do it faster. We need more. Me. Buckman's, are you good? I'm done. How about your mom? How are you doing, Carrier? Come back to the screen when you guys have set your cup up and you need to start. All right, Buckman's, are you good? Give me a thumbs up if you're good. How about you, Carriers? Are you good? I think they're still setting theirs up on the floor. Our Walters are good. Carly's good. Parker's are good. How about you, Bracken? Are you good? Yep. Tyler's, are you good? Did you set yours up? Give me a thumbs up if you set yours up. Yep, good job. Okay. So, carriers, are you good? Grant, Maggie, okay, I got a thumbs up. 
All right. I am going to give you guys 30 seconds. Let's see if I can find it. All right. No, I can't. All right. I'm going to set it on my phone. And you guys will have 30 seconds. Boys are going to, do you remember what you're going to do? What are you going to do, Ruben? Ruben's going to the girl's side and flipping them upside down. The girls are going to Ruben's side and flipping them right side up. Remember? So you're doing the opposite of what you just did. All right. The girls, making sure this is right. Boys are going upside down, flipping the boys, the cups upside down while the girls flip right side up. Are you guys ready? Yeah. On your mark. Get me. Oh. Get set. Go. Go flip them. Flip them. Flip them. You go to the other side. You got to keep going for 30 seconds. Keep going. Remember, this is a time to see who can get. Keep going. Flip them the other way. See how this is going over here. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. All right, stop. Come back to the screen. We did it. I need all. All right. Look how you guys did. You guys do it? You got more than Eliza. How many did you get, Cole? I got I won. We tied. We tied. Tied. Okay. They tied. Gentry and Jimmy, how do you? I got get? fifteen. Jimmy got four. I got fifteen. Is that Hudson? You got fifteen. How many Dabby get? Um, I got. <laughs> um, Back here. I just got. Um, I got all of them. You got all of them. Haley, how'd you do? One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, carriers, how'd you do? I got one. How many Maggie get? Like that. Is we in a tie? No, I'm not. Ours tied, it looks like. How about you, Walters? We tied. You yeah, tied too? Yeah. How I like it when everybody ties. We just had six cups. How about you, Carly? Oh. All right, and Bracken, you're muted, but how did you do? Give me a thumbs up or down. You're muted. You good? Yeah, <laughs> you're so quiet. All right, guys, so I'm going to hand you. Hey, over here, guys. I'm going to hand you off to Lee now. I'm going to mute everybody real quick so we can hear her. Can you? Except for Rook and Lee. There we go. All right. Where'd you go? There you are. Or a thumbs up, Buckman, if you can hear. Okay. So we've been making our way through the Bible together, following God's big story ever since the beginning. Everything in God's story led up to what happened when his, he sent his son Jesus to be our Savior. Jesus came to earth and taught us things no one had heard before. He healed people. He lived a perfect life. But the religious leaders didn't like how Jesus was claimed to be God's son. They had him arrested, and he died a horrible death on a cross. He didn't say death. Jesus defeated death. And came alive again. Jesus flipped things upside down and changed the way everything works forever. He changed how we view others and how we treat them. The Apostle Paul wrote about that in a letter, which he wrote to the followers of Jesus who lived in the city called the Little. The Little. And so here's what Paul wrote. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than you value yourself. A 
as you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. In his very nature, he was God. Jesus was equal with God. But Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was made just like human beings. He appeared as a man. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Even worse, he died on a cross. So did you catch that? Jesus is equal with God. He made his big, huge, mighty self small to be like us. Jesus did what was best for all of us. He was humble. He obeyed God completely, even though it cost him everything. He thought of our needs and our weaknesses. He put us first. So we know what Jesus did for us. Do you think that that should change the way we treat other people? What do you think? Does anybody think that? Raise your hand. You think because he treated us a certain way, we should treat him, treat others a certain way? Absolutely. We can follow the example Jesus gave us as we put others first too. But we need God's help to do it. So raise your hand if you know what it's like when someone puts you first. Raise your hand. Wait. Does it feel good? Like you get put first maybe on your birthday or if you get leader of the month at school or student of the month. Us moms get a little bit on Mother's Day. Yeah. It feels good, right? Well, you and I can do that for others. We can treat others the way we want to be treated. Have you ever heard that before? Give me a thumbs up. It's called the golden rule. Do you use that on your at your house? We do. You do put your head. Did your mom ever say that to you? Treat others the way you want to be treated. So instead of saying I'm number one, you're saying to someone else, you're number one. So when we put others first, not only are we following Jesus' example, but we're also showing the world what God is like. We shouldn't just be thinking about ourselves and how we can get ahead. We should value others more than ourselves. Here's the thing. It's easy for us to say we want to put others first, but what does that look like? Well, you might be surprised how many different situations come up every day that give us a chance to put others first. So let's say you and your older sister are packing your lunches for school. You pack a sandwich and apple in a water bottle, but you're looking for one more thing. Then at the exact same moment, you and your sister both bought the last chocolate chip cookie. You know you both want it, but what do you do? Well, even though you really want that cookie, you can show humility by giving it to your sister this time without complaining. How about this? It's Friday afternoon, and you get off the school bus, and a couple of your friends follow you home to play video games for a little while. But when you get inside, you realize there's three of you and only two controllers. You can take turns, but someone has to sit out first. What do you do? Well, even though you love playing this new game with your friends, you can choose to be humble by saying you'll sit out first. You can show your friends what humility looks like. Okay, one more. You and your siblings are all working on homework. You come across a math problem you need a little help with. But the exact moment your little brother also needs your mom's help with an assignment. Everything in you wants to jump in front of him so you can get the help you need and then be done. So what do you do? You practice some patience and let your brother go first. When you do that, you're showing humility. You're putting your little brother first. And all of you all are probably understanding that right now since we're doing school at home. Taking time, patience. And when you let somebody else go first, not only are you showing humility to that sibling, but you're also showing it to your mom or your dad that's helping you because we can get overwhelmed too. So if you're not if we're not careful, we can find ourselves in those everyday situations and never really stop to think about others. I mean, if we're honest, we want to go first. We want to pick our favorite color. We want to have things our way. 
but God's way means paying attention to the people around us, noticing what they need, and choosing to love them and put them first. After all, that's what Jesus did for us. So remember, put others first because Jesus put you first. That can be a lot harder for us to do, but remember, God is always there to help us. Let's talk about, let's talk to him about that now. So everybody, let's pray. We're praying hands together. God, thank you so much for Jesus and the incredible example of humility that he gave us. It is because of his humility that we can show humility to others. Please help us show our friends and family that we value them by the way we treat them. Help us to remember how Jesus put us first, and please give us the strength to treat others the same way. Please continue to protect all of us until we can see each other again and keep us healthy and safe. We love you, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. It's true. Jesus is the very, very best example um, for humility. He gave up everything to come to earth to save us. Right? So after Jesus died and came back to life again, people talked about what he did. They talked about the way he treated people with love and compassion. They remembered all he had done to put people first. We should think that way when we spend time with people in our lives that we see every day. So we should be thinking about others more than we think about ourselves. We should think that way when we spend time with people in our lives all the time. So it's just like Paul wrote in his letters in Philippians 2, 3, which is our memory verse this month. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. It's not easy for us to put others first, but we can find strength we need when we remember what Jesus did for us. Remember that put, we need to put others first because Jesus put us first, right? For us, it can often be our attitude that can show humility to others. Let's say you're right in the middle of something that you want to do and someone bothers you. Do you get upset or do you look at it as a chance to help out? Or our days are full of chances when we can choose to put others first by being ready to give them our time and intention and thinking about what they might need. So how can you guys follow Jesus' example by putting others first? I'm sure you guys have some great examples. Um, just be aware of what's going on in your life this week. I know brothers and sisters can be hard to deal with sometimes. So, um, but just remember to put others first this week, right? So, do anybody have any questions? Let's see you guys this week. Ribbon. What's up, buddy? Well, you guys want to say anything? We're getting ready to sign off. Bye. 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 Miss you. Have fun. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great Bye. Sunday.